Since the primary mission of police is taking care of public safety, all commissioned police officers, therefore, must attend the training courses in order to develop their potential and readiness for performing their tasks. The Police College is a leading organization which has been the center of learning for Thai police officers for the past six decades. In 1952, Police General Pao Si Yanon, the then Director General of the Royal Thai Police, established the Police Detective School, which was under the Central Investigation Bureau. The main objective of the school was to provide modern and advanced policing knowledge for police officers to perform criminal investigation efficiently. In 1985, the school was reformed and transferred to be under the Police Education Bureau and its name had been changed to the Institute of Police Administration Development. The institute was reformed again in 2009 in accordance with the Royal Decree entitled The Improvement of the Royal Thai Police Structure, which was enacted on the 7th of September 2009. Its name has been changed to the Police College up until now. According to its philosophy, Development for Excellence Police Professional, deeply bound by determined spirit and commitment to provide advanced policing knowledge and expertise for police officers on the basis of morality and ethics. The police college therefore has become the leading organization to provide training for commissioned police officers. The training provided by the college enhances them to be ready and capable to apply knowledge, skills and experiences in all administration levels of their works. Based upon its vision, being the leading organization in learning and training, The police college's administration has been divided into five administrative sections. First, the general affairs section. It is responsible for general administration, human resources management, strategic planning, finance, logistics, and information technology. Second, the training administration section. This section is responsible for recruitment, training preparation, academic tasks, invitation of experts and visiting lecturers, course evaluation, as well as academic quality assurance. The third section is the training activity section. This section is responsible for student affairs, field trips, sports and recreations, gym and shooting simulation room. Fourth, the academic service section. It is responsible for library, production of documents and texts, academic services, information technology training center, and an operational language laboratory. Finally, the Research and Development section. This section is responsible for promoting and coordinating on research-related issues, conducting research, improving police operation, providing research database, as well as developing the quality of research. The Police College has been stepping forward in accordance with its strategies. It initiatively provides training courses not only in theoretical perspectives, but also 
in terms of continuous practice to increase police officers' capabilities. Currently, the police college provides five major training courses for police officers throughout the country. First, the senior command course. This course emphasizes on enhancing the trainees' vision, improving and enhancing them to be good administrators, so they can appropriately lead their organization in accordance with their roles and responsibilities, building operational network as well as collaborating with other related organizations. Second, the superintendent course. This course aims to increase operational knowledge and skills. It also aims to adjust the trainees' attitudes to enhance their vision of being good administrators, to improve their capabilities, to solve problems in their organization, as well as in the society as a whole, and to enhance them on people-oriented policy deployment. Third, Inspector Course. The main objectives of this course are to provide knowledge and skills of the trainees in working operation and inter-organizational cooperation, and to develop their personalities and leadership in order to work appropriately with other organizations' personnel in operational level. Fourth, the General Staff Course. It aims to enhance knowledge and understanding of General Staff's roles and duties, and to encourage using of knowledge gained from the course to support their high-rank officers in various functions, such as providing information for efficient decision-making in various missions. Last but not least, the Police Detective Course. It is provided to enhance trainees the knowledge, skills, and expertise in criminal investigation as well as violation against the criminal code. Besides the police college, there are other divisions located in this place, such as the faculty division, the police recruitment division, which are also under the Police Education Bureau. Furthermore, the police college not only provides the lounge for visiting lecturers, experts, and high-ranking officers, but it also provides welfare shop and coffee shops to facilitate staff and trainees. The police college is not just only the place for training and disseminating knowledge, but it is also the symbol of pride for all police officers who commit to work professionally based upon the morality and ethics in order to maintain the dignity and prestige of the Royal Thai Police. Creating good and disciplined administrators is the heart of the police college. The Police College, State of Police Idol.